Let's have a look at prime numbers. A prime number has exactly two factors, one and itself. So for example, seven is prime because its only, fa only factors are one and seven. In other words, a prime number is a number that has no proper factors. I mean, one is going to be a factor of every single number. And of course, seven will be a factor of seven. Any number will be a factor of itself. But apart from those sort of obvious factors, seven doesn't have any other factors. And that's what a prime number is. So in contrast, for example, a composite number does have more than two factors. Um, and six, for example, is compact, compost, composite because it does have the obvious factors of one and six but it also has some other factors on top of that, like two and three. One is a special number. It's neither prime nor composite because it actually only has one factor, which is the number one itself. Let's have a look at the prime numbers less than 20. So we already know that one isn't a prime number, uh, but two will be a prime number because the only factors of two are one and two. And now, if two is a, if we look at two and we see that any other number that has two as a factor won't be a prime number because it has two as a factor. So we can cross out all the numbers that are multiples of two. And so any even number can't possibly be prime because it has two as a factor. Three is a prime number because it only has one and three as factors. And in a similar way, we can go ahead and cross out all those numbers that are multiples of three um, because they won't be primes either. And we can continue in this way. Five is a prime number, seven is, 11 is, 13 is, 17 is, and 19 is. But now if we want to look at bigger numbers and decide if they're prime or not, how do we do that? So we could ask ourselves, for example, is 48 a prime number? And that's quite an easy question to answer because 48 is even and so it has 2 as a factor. So it definitely isn't a prime number. It's composite because it has 2 as a factor. But a more interesting question would be, is 47 a prime number? Now, what we're asking ourselves there is, is there any whole number that can divide into 47 with no remainder? And the only way to do that would be to kind of go through and check all the numbers from 1 through to 47 and see if they divided into 47 with no remainder. So if there's something other than just 1 or 47 that can divide into 47 with no remainder. Now it's going to take us a while to go through all the numbers from 1 to 47. But we don't actually have to go through all the numbers because remember we, when we looked at factors, they always occurred in pairs. So if you had a small factor, it occurred together with its pair of a big factor. And so we actually don't have to go through all the numbers. We only have to go as far as the square root of 47. So let's get an idea of roughly what the square root of 47 is. What is the square that's closest to 47? Well, the next square number after 47 is 49, which is 7 squared. So if we just check up to 7, we'll have checked enough. And in addition to that, we don't actually have to check every number. We only have to check the prime numbers because, for example, if 2 doesn't divide into 47, then 4 also won't divide into 47. So we only have to check the prime numbers. OK, so we're going to only check the prime numbers that are smaller than 7 and we'll be able to then know whether 47 is prime or not. So we start with 2. Does it divide into 47? Well, no, because 47 isn't even. What about 3? Well, if we go ahead, go and try it, go and see if you can divide 3 into 47, you'll get a remainder. So 3 doesn't divide into 47 with no remainder. The next prime is 5. It won't divide into 47. We know that um, any multiple of 5 either ends in a 5 or a 0, so it doesn't. And now we've checked all the primes that are smaller than. Um, 7 and none of them have divided into 47 so we know that 47 is a prime number. What about 57? Is that prime? So again we're only going to check as far as the square root so let's just have a look at what square is close to is the next after 57 
Uh, after 57, we get 64, which is 8 squared, right? The, this is where you need to know your squares quite well because it'll help you here. So 8 squared is 64. That's the next square number after 57. So we're only going to have to check all the primes smaller than 8. Um, and if none of them divide into 57, then we know 57 is prime. So we start with 2. It doesn't divide in because 57 is not even. What about 3? Well, actually 3 does divide in because 3 goes into 5 once, remainder 2, and 3 goes into 27 9 times. So 3 times 19 gives us 57. And so 3 does divide into 57 with no remainder. So 3 is a factor of 57. So 57 isn't prime because it's got a factor other than 1 or itself.